Anybody? Yep. Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Zeno with... Justice Zeno. For 15 minute fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. One for your mind. Your body and your, your future. future. Yeah, he's, he's gotten it. And also do your intro. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Justice Zeno, and we're here with the Justice League. Where we unite heroes of the world, right? Yeah. Free them up, liberate them. Yeah. All right, so happy Memorial Day, everybody. Um, I did not do a fuel yesterday because... Yeah, I was at a party, a uh, friend's party. To what time? To, like, 10. Yeah, 10 p.m. I was waiting for this guy all day long. He was at a party next door. Yeah, they had a really good party. And uh, you came back home at 10 p.m. So, um, so we're just kind of doing Memorial Day... Slash, Put them in the fuel. Slap, slap in Justice League and Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, all, all wrapped in one. So, today we're going to talk about Memorial Day. So, I'll, I'll do kind of my rant on Memorial Day. So, um, 11 years ago when I first worked on Memorial Day, someone on, on Facebook ripped me and he was a former, uh, he, was, he went to chiropractic school and he was also in the military, he used to be, and he thought it was very disrespectful that I worked on Memorial Day. And uh, that was odd to me because, you know, my dad was in the Korean War and he was in the Air Force. And, you know, I don't think my dad would want me sitting around drinking beer, stuffing my face with food and, not, and just, just looking forward to a day off. You know, is, you know I, I think much respect is to doing the best you can as a human being. That's what everybody goes, you know, they, our military, they're heroes. I mean, that's why they're in the military. They want, they're like the modern day G.I. Joe heroes, right? That's what we love, G.I. Janes and G.I. Joes. And, uh, you know, it's funny, we're on Memorial Day, but how many people really, you know, do they like it because it's a day off versus do they really, really, truly remember? And, you know, so that's, you know, just so when you think of days like this or any holiday, what's it for? Like, everybody loves Christopher Columbus because you get a freaking day off. That's why. Not, not that anybody cares that he's, he's traveled here and landed somewhere he shouldn't and then terrorized the poor Indians that he ran into. But um, so that was it. So. So since then, I, I made a decision to always work on the holidays because I get to see patients and uh, with their families, and it just uh, it's a it's a, it's something unique that no one else is doing, and I enjoy it. You know why why would I want to sit around like on Sundays? I love working on Sundays because work to me is is working towards my future. So I appreciate you guys. So uh, let's let's talk about our hero that we'll mem uh, remember today. So uh, my dad was in the Korean War, right, Gene Zeno. So my dad was pulled out of high school. At tenth grade, mm -hmm. so he never fin finished high school, but he went to the Air Force during the Korean War. I, bl I believe they were drafting, and he got his draft letter in the mail like a week or two after he went into the Air Force. Thank God, otherwise I wouldn't be here. You know, because the Korean War was nasty. So he went to the Air Force, and in the Air Force, um, because my dad just had a tenth grade education, they gave him a test, and just different psychological tests. And one, he, my dad told me the questions like, if you had a gun, would you want to shoot it? Would you want to take it apart? Would you want, like, just, just what different things you want to do. So my dad, from that personality and skill test, they made him an engineer, all right? So engineer, meaning that he would work on the planes, he would, he would uh, make sure all the parts were working correctly. He, he had a few planes he took care of. So before they went up, he made sure he checked everything on it. So, and my dad was always meticulous. I mean, just over everything he had. And, uh, and the crazy thing is, even though my dad flew, he hated to fly. Like, you, you never got a chance to meet him, but anytime we would never, he hated flying, so we would drive everywhere. So we used to drive from New York to Florida, like a couple times, yeah, that was our vacation, from New York to North Carolina. So he hated flying, even though he was in the Air Force. And the reason why he hated flying is because he, he wouldn't fly a plane that he didn't, check, he didn't check. That was like the thing that he was serious about. Like, he didn't like going to any commercial airlines. It would just, you, I mean, you would have to almost, we didn't, but you would almost have to drug him to get on a plane. So remember the A-Team? I don't know if you remember. Well, A-Team, Mr. T, for those of you who are 40, there was a show called the A-Team. And you know Mr. T, right? Clubber Lang from Rocky, yeah. right? So he was <laughs> on the A-Team. They could never get him on a plane, so he used to have to drug him. They used to knock it out. Well, that's my dad. We literally had to do things to get him on a plane. So he'd be praying the whole way up there because he, he wasn't able to, check over the plane so he had this this thing and uh so what so here's the story in the air force so he was in the air force one day and my dad he was a good engineer in the air force that he was actually uh part of a top secret mission and the top secret mission in the air force at the time was building the jet engine like the jets you see because they were prop jobs back then so he was part of building the jet the actual jet engine 
and uh, checking that out. So now during that time, was, cert- what's that? It was after World War II. It, it was, was after it was before. after World War II, right? Be- and it was before Vietnam. Yeah. She's so in the Korean War, and so a whole fleet. They're ready to send out this whole fleet, and my dad's checking the planes. And then there's this guy who was clearly not paying attention. My dad saw the guy pumping gas, and he would just. This is the way my dad was. He's like, "What are you doing?" Let me see your plane. He would ask for the identification, and then he would check. And then, if if he didn't know who you were, he would check all your stuff. So we checked the guy's truck, everything like that. And my dad had him fill a bucket with the, the fuel he was pumping the planes with. And he says, and when he started pumping the fuel, that he, he the whole fleet, this guy was fueling, and he saw the fuel, and it was it was orange, and the and the fuel that their planes had was blue, bluish color. So the orange fuel was jet fuel, rocket fuel rather. So this guy, he was wasn't paying attention, made a mistake, filled the whole entire fleet with rocket fuel, okay, which you don't, otherwise the planes would blow up. So my dad saved a fleet of 12 planes. These guys were ready to take off, and he shut it down. He called everything, he had the guy detained. The guy didn't know, he was just ignorant and, and negligent. And he saved an entire fleet of 12 planes, otherwise all of them would have blown up. And so they, uh, he got big awards for that. And he was honorably discharged. And he actually was in Texas for quite a bit. So show him the plaque we got there. Yeah. Right there. So that's one of the plaques. Right there. Jean, Eugene, my dad's name was Eugene Francis Zeno. So that's, uh, that's what we got right there. So I love right there. They, did, they did, a whole, did a whole workup on him. And he was part of the 6520th Experimental Squad. How about the 6520th Experimental Squadron Air Defense Maintenance? So yeah. He worked on the jet. He worked on the jet engine. So so much. But it was top secret back then. So that's that's pretty cool. And so. his nickname was um, Airman Zeno. Yep, Airman. They call him the Airman <laughs> because you couldn't. I mean, that was the thing, Airman. But this guy wouldn't go in the air for anything. So that was always uh, that was good. Cool. But here's the thing: I never knew my dad at that. I was like, I'm so, I'm talking about a legend that I I never knew him at like that. I was the youngest, so I knew Grandpa when he did video and stuff like that. But these are good stories. But uh, the, just so think, you know, the lesson I guess from that is he always used to tell me the end result is the only thing that matters. No matter how long it took, how meticulous, never, he was meticulous at everything. He would take the extra time, he would double check, triple check, and it was just, you know, maybe that experience, maybe because of that and having that experience, realizing there was people that would have died uh, losing their, at that time, they would have lost could, and their it dads. Could, like, and it could uh, have a chain reaction and blow, like, everything up. Yeah, and just, and just think of like the families that have lost their husbands and fathers. So um, that just stuck with him. And he, I mean, he, to the point we drive my mom and I crazy because he was just such. He was a triple, quadruple checker, and he had he always had systems to double check things. But you know, safety, safety first, end result that matters. So, all right, Justice. So what do you got, man, from Memorial Day? Um, I think it's a great time to work and honor like the the uh, veterans that passed, and there's actually two. Um, my uh, pop pop's uh, uh, dad. He was in the. Mm-hmm. Um, he was in World War Two. Yeah. yeah, he was in World War Two. Um, and it's a good day. And I don't think it needs to be like a day off. Yeah. It, it's like it. Sometimes some some years it seems like a normal day. Other years it seems like a day off sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, but I I, I mean, it's it's a. Like, um, it's a good thing to honor, like, the veterans sure. that uh, passed and that, like, saved us. Yeah. You know, if it's in your family, like, you know, we don't honor my dad just on today. You know, it's something where it just, it's almost like the same thing as church. Like, Sunday isn't the holy day. It's like they're all holy, you know. So when you have someone in your family or so you see a veteran, you know, just, you know, it's just not a one-day-a-year thing. It's an everyday thing. That's why I never got holidays. And just to let you know... Uh, and how this ties into the hero and secret identity. Uh, 22, the average of 22 veterans commit suicide every single day. Every single day. And so what starts to happen, you know, they have the parades for the veterans and they clap for them when they get on the plane because it's a lot of, it's a lot of mouth talk, you know. It's just, it's, it's just seem patriotic, but the reality is they get treated like shit. They really do. I mean, plain and simple. You know, they, you know, they, they go with their heroes they, they sign up for something that most people wouldn't. They train, they develop skills. And then when they're taken out of there, or if they get injured, 
and they're taken out of there, they go from hero mode because because they, they're taught to find their identity in being the soldier to here's a desk job. And can you see the can you see the they're forced into a secret identity. So here it's they're in Iraq, and then next time they're behind a desk somewhere in, in Missouri or something like that. And it's very tough where they have the post-traumatic stress disorder. And who knows? You know, the military, they have to take all the vaccinations. So, you know, you could imagine what happens there. And just who knows what they're exposed to. So, so you have these great men and women who are willing to fight and die for the country. They come back to the states, and uh, they're just kind of uh, left on their own. It's, you know, I, if, and I'm, if any of you have watched, watched First Blood, it was the first Rambo. It was an exaggeration of that. You know, he's a guy, he fought for the country, and he's just kind of get treated, they really get treated like crap, because here's how, how they treat him. They come back, yeah, they might get paid a cool pension, but they, uh, they're taught to find their identity in being in the military, not that they're valuable as a human being, right? So that's the first thing. Finding your identity in something is, is a secret identity. And if they are going through pain or there's injury, you know, you get injured, like you don't have to get shot in the military. So, I mean, a lot of them, they have stress fractures in their feet, um, neck problems, back problems, pain, you know, then you have the emotional issues that are going on. So then they're, they're sent to something called the VA, and the VA is a government-ran thing, and they just pump them full of drugs. They just make them, they put them in, in, a, in a, lobo they, they give them medical, medical lobotomies. And every, every veteran, like, so I have so many patients that are veterans, and just I hear the story after story because I really know the, the, the real thing behind the scenes that, you know, on TV, they give you the thumbs up and they do the fireworks, but in real life, they get treated like shit, you know, and it just, it just sucks. And to hear the veterans, like, what the VA does to them, they just put them on massive drugs, massive drugs, they're comatose, and they realize, like, no one, you know, that's why the suicide rate is so high. And so that, that's why this hero message is so important. Because if I could just let them know, hey, listen, your identity is not in the military. Your identity is that you are a valuable human being. And then what are the gifts and the talents you've been gifted with? What, are the, what is the vehicle of, that you choose to influence the world? And let them see that there's so much more than, uh, than, the, than the situation they're put in. So, you know, I would, on days like this, just don't remember them today, but I would pray for the veterans because it's not all sunshine and rainbows when they come back to the States. You know, they go through a very, very difficult time readjusting, and the readjusting is usually they throw meds at them or they put them in a job behind a desk, which that's not their, that's not their talent, that's not their gift. You know, they're heroes. So if, if you know a veteran, you see someone out there, talk to them, love on them, not just today, any day, and hear their story. they got a great story, right? The fact that they, have it all, they all have great stories and they can do so many great things, and they have the talent of discipline. What's the number one talent? Discipline. I mean, with the discipline they, they contain to, to tell the body no, and they're so headstrong, they could really become the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. But they're told a lie that, hey, listen, you know, you're washed up, or you were a soldier, or they, they just live in the past, but they're so talented, they need more. So let, let not Memorial Day be a one-day thing, just like don't let church be a Sunday thing. It's an all-the-time thing. You know, when you see a veteran, understand, just let them know that they're valuable, not because they fight for our country, that they're a hero on and off. And uh, when they come home, you know, uh, hopefully they see the true, the true uh, hero they really are. So that's, uh, that's our message. You got anything to close with, man? Um, uh, yeah. Um, there, there, they, um, there is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of veterans, like a lot. Yeah. Um, and so, like, and they're fighting for our country, so, like, like, um, so like definitely honor them on today and um don't don't um think like Memorial Day is a day off. Yeah, or don't like, think yeah, don't think like, you know, it's not a I day mean, off. It's technically it's, uh, never a day off. Well, Any day is pretty much never mm -hmm. a day off. Yeah, so just love on so today enjoy your Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not this is not a guilt thing if you are drinking beer and eating hamburgers and eating hot mm -hmm. dogs. You know, it's something that this country gives us a day off for that. But Maybe let's start today as like every day is a Memorial Day, and when you do just see someone who fought for our country, understand that if you don't speak into their life, 22 vets a day commit suicide, right? So, you know, we cheer for them, but behind the scenes, you know, they're just on a track that's not very good because that's the way the system is set up for it. So uh, if you just know that, go into that, give, give them love and compassion, speak life into them. And uh, if you are a business owner... Uh, maybe possibly uh, 
mentor them into entrepreneurship skills because they'll be the best workers in the world as long as they're not on drugs and medication, right? So if they're hopped up on drugs, because that's what the VA gives you, but I would, I would love to have military. I wish my whole, well, I do. What am I talking about? Dr. Travis in the military. It's like, yeah, I, got, I, love, mil, I love people in the military because they get stuff done. They, they're hustlers and they're great. And uh, as long as they remember that their identity is not that, the fatigues don't make them who they are. They're innately and, and born worthy and gifted of the hero. So have an amazing Memorial Day, right? Thanks for watching yeah. Sunday Sunday. We even got Timmy D here working, all right? Because, you know, that's what it is. We got to bring you, bring you the up-to-date uh, quality, what we do. So have a blessed day. Be safe. And uh, we are here as episode 37. 37, 37 dropped off today. That was really good. Check that out. Uh, make sure uh, all you guys who like the unicorn shirt will actually have that available soon, so look out. We also have uh, child size clothes now. Someone said, you know, do you have kids stuff? So Pete Strawback, everybody asking, we have uh, yeah, baby people? It'll be, it'll be on the Shopify store. Yep. It won't make it to the Facebook store because they've got to they've gotta check all through that. So in a week? Yeah, so you can buy the youth right now on Shopify if you go directly to the store. And if you want to buy it through Facebook... Um, the actual use of the But no, one's, no one knows how to get to Shopify, right? I mean, all the links go to Shopify. Which ones? When you're on Facebook and you click on a thing and you want to buy it, it takes you to Shopify. Oh, okay. So, that's where the checkout is. So keep a lot. Yeah, it's probably there. So look for the, the youth sizes so you can get the baby in the youth sizes. All right, I think we're good. We'll see you guys tomorrow on uh, Tuesday for 15 Minute Fuel and the Justice League. Look at this handsome guy. Yep. And his Joker shirt. We're just in 15 minutes today. Well, for your mind, your body, and, and your, your future. future. Okay, sh uh, close the uh, Justice League, bud. Okay, so um, definitely um, continue um, uh, listening to this. This is really good advice. And um, definitely be here to all. Good. Okay. Take care, good. See ya. Bye bye. Bye.